Good afternoon. This is Mayor Josh Moaning here with Anna Allen, Assistant City Engineer, and we're at Benjamin Avenue, the newly opened Benjamin Avenue. After a, a long time coming, obviously we've seen a lot of construction on this project over the last few months. So this is about half of the project, about half Correct. of the Benjamin Avenue reconstruction project uh, going east from Riverside to First Street. Um, Pretty much everything is complete except for work on the box culvert and some segments of the new sidewalk. So Anna, I want to just give a recap um, how we got here today and what we'll see in terms of construction going on throughout uh, the winter months and then the other half of the project starting in the spring. Sure. Yes. Um, if you've seen a couple of our last videos, we've gone through from Riverside to First Street south on Riverside, north on Riverside. So we have the east side lanes uh, that were completely redone. And then the lanes go into First Street. So everything was torn out, the, all the old concrete was torn out. They put new sub basin, they put a foundation course, and then they laid the nine inch concrete pavement. They've gone through and done all of the sidewalks, like Josh said, with the exception of the corner over here, the northeast corner they're finishing up. And then the box culvert work is going on, so they're going to wait and finish those sidewalks with the box culvert. Uh, schedule for that is going to be, they estimate about 12 weeks, maybe about six weeks each side of the box culvert. So right now they're concentrating on the north side of the box culvert, and then they'll switch traffic to the south side. So if you can see, we have all of the lanes opened up except for over the box culvert. And Again, long time coming, but very worthwhile project. One of the largest infrastructure projects the city's ever undertaken. Uh, just a lot to do, right? And uh, going back to the point of underneath the street, there was a lot of foundational work that had to be done because we were realizing that, you know, streets in Norfolk have not always had necessary the right subgrade. Um, and so we've worked to reform that and make sure that when we do new projects like this, we're, we're doing it in a way that the, the street will last Correct. for as long as we can get it to last. And so uh, that was one of the big differences in um, taking on a big project like this and uh, very, very important to longevity and sustainability of this infrastructure. I also want to note too, so you're seeing on, on the south side here on the sidewalk, uh, the new sidewalk that was laid is a lot wider than yes. the previous uh, sidewalk. And we did that for uh, safety reasons. Um, before it was a four foot sidewalk, I think. Uh, we're talking about, we're, we're at 10 feet right now, all the way from Riverside to First Street once everything's finished up. And I think that will be very helpful for pedestrian safety and just uh, allowing for better uh, multimodal uh, transportation throughout the community. Yes, so it's part of the, the biking um, trail throughout town. Uh, we kind of have a master plan for getting more trails throughout town to allow for pedestrians and bicycles to move down the corridors. So this is one area that we're working on doing that. And sure, sure. And so, you know, other questions we've gotten is, so there's bridge construction happening, box uh, culvert construction happening mm -hmm. on this project and then at First Street during the winter months and so people are saying well why why do why try to do construction during the winter so can you talk about that a little bit Anna sure sure uh, one of the main reasons they do a lot of bridge work during the winter time so including box culverts like here on uh, Benjamin Avenue a lot of it is you know they have to dig out the old box culvert they'll have to um, form up they'll have to drive sheet pile and then water is a, a major thing in these projects so during the winter months there's usually a lot less water flowing through the river so they're not they wouldn't have to fight with as much water coming through and then once they get to forming it all back up that's very time consuming to get everything formed up the wing walls and the box and everything else and then setting their rebar in there so by the time they get to pour in the concrete you know it'll be formed up and then all the areas that are exposed on that concrete, even on a cold day, it'll get covered up with uh, curing blankets. So it'll keep that heat in there for the hydration and curing of the concrete. 
Okay. So again, uh, on Benjamin, on the the box work uh, throughout the winter, we estimate about 12 weeks altogether. Six weeks on the north, six weeks on the south, with the entire with it being open to one lane of traffic throughout. So. Um, so again, uh, to recap, uh, I think we want to thank the public for being patient uh, throughout this process. Um, it never goes perfectly, uh, though, but this all in all was a fairly smooth project and I want to commend the engineering team and the contractor uh, for being very uh, transparent and having, I think, weekly communications meetings with property owners and the public as to how the project was going. and and where exactly we were in the schedule. And I think that's helpful. And we'll continue that um, as we move to the other half of the project to right. the west, which will start in the spring, right? Right, so when the weather gets uh, better in the springtime, so you know, March, April, depending on how the Nebraska weather goes this year, um, they'll get started and then they'll continue west from Riverside and do the same process that they did over here, you know, um, taking out the old street, putting in utilities such as storm drain, some water and sewer lines, and uh, then getting all their subgrades back in place and uh, sidewalks, landscaping, um, light poles. So we're gonna, we will have light poles coming down the corridor. Those will be installed. So, so yeah, nice. so people can expect uh -huh. new lighting, uh -huh. uh, new landscaping, uh, some of the fill here on the terrace, uh, on the south side here uh, on Benjamin will be uh, coming in the next week or so, right? Yes, next couple yep. weeks? they'll start okay. backfilling and then yep. they'll start putting in some landscape bags and things. Yeah, so um, a huge facelift yes. uh, on, on Benjamin Avenue mm -hmm. and all in all, all said and done, will be a much safer corridor, a much more efficient corridor, a much more pedestrian friendly corridor and uh, one that will help move, move traffic and people throughout the community for years and years to come. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, again, we appreciate everyone's patience and understanding as we go through these growing pains, but uh, in the end, it'll be worth it. So, thank you, Anne. Thank you.